Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk and welcome back to a Shep Talk movie review. But before we get into that review, a quick admin note. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if you want to follow me on social media, hit those links down below. Now, let's get to my review of Extraction. Extraction was directed by Sam Hargrave. His first feature length film, he has done a lot of stunt work for a lot of movies, and partic particularly with the MCU. I'm going to try to pronounce these names that start in this movie, but please forgive me because if you've watched my videos before, I suck at pronouncing names. Extraction stars Chris Hemsworth, Rudhaski Jawasal, Randeep Huda. Quick synopsis. A rival syndicate kidnaps the son of their competitors who, and who then hires Rake and his team to find and extract his son. Extraction was released on Netflix on April 24th, 2020. Here it is guys, my review of the much talked about movie Extraction. I was on the fence about this movie when it first came out and I started watching some of my friends reviews and this movie seemed to be split. Some people liked it, some people didn't, and it didn't really make me want to watch um, this movie right away. Then my job changed my work schedule, and I had more downtime, and I've been going through the 2020 video on demand movie releases, and finally worked my way back to Extraction. So I was like, alright, finally, let's take a look at this movie and see what it's all about. Let's get the elephant out of the room right away. If you're watching Extraction, it really isn't for the plot or the storyline. You're coming to Extraction because everyone is raving about the action scenes in this movie and they do not disappoint. Which should be no big surprise when you understand that the director for this movie has spent his life as a Hollywood stuntman. He, so he understands how a fight scene comes together. If the fight scenes were not top notch, this movie would not be worth anything to write home about. But after saying all that, if you Look at if you took the action out of this movie, it isn't really anything special. The plot and storyline are really straightforward and nothing original. Someone needs rescuing or extraction, and in comes the team to pull him out, but something goes wrong, and now the main star is on his own trying to get the asset out of danger. I give them props for after the fighting scenes, they actually have the actors continue with the injuries that they suffered in the previous fight scenes. Though I will say sometimes they f seem to forget about the injury they suffered when the next fight rolls out. The, though the next scene you see them remembering and winch or limp or wrap their arm back up. But I would give them a B plus saying, you know, good try and trying to keep up with the injury continuity throughout this movie. Too many times in too many action movies do we see a person get shot or cut or bruised or broken and they they just seem to forget <laughs> that they were ever injury injured one of the issues i have with this is that a four or five man team think they're going to go into a city that is pretty much owned by the bad guy he pretty much owns the police the shop owners everybody and they think they're going to get in and out without anything bad going down it seemed like they really didn't plan that much before the execution of this job it just, it really just seems, I get it, small team goes in, just quietly gets the asset and comes out, but it just, it really just didn't go, you know, sit well with me. Also, the performance outside of the action scenes really didn't connect with me. I understand, especially towards the end of the movie, they want us to have a connection between Rake and Ovi with all that they are going through, but it really just doesn't come through for me. This movie focused so much on the action scene that the personal connection just didn't come through and then for me at least, it hurt the movie overall. Another issue I had with this movie is pretty much the time between the action scenes. Once the fighting stops and the good guys get away, the bad guys just seem to stop looking for the good guys and give them a chance to recover. But once the good guys are on the move again, the bad guys pop up and find our good guys no matter where they are located at. I would get it if there were any other people around that saw where the good guys were hiding and turned them in. But there is one scene where there's no one clearly around where they are, but the bad guys just seem to show up when the good guys are on the move once again. Overall, you're coming to this movie because of the action and in that you won't be disappointed. 
but if you're coming to watch a movie that has good writing, acting, and action, there are other movies out there that have done it better. With all that being said though, Shep Talk gives Extraction two Sheps out of five, and that is really only because the action is so good in this movie, or I probably would have given it one Shep. That is all I have time for you today. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel out greatly. And guys, we are almost at 300 subscribers. Please, let's get this done. And if you like this video, check out some of these videos over here. I'm sure there will be something else in there that you will enjoy. But like I said before, that is all I have time for. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.